it was really hard not to like lick my thumb and get the sunscreen off of Warren Buffett's face. I refrained and let him do it himself, but pretty fun memory from when I was little. Uh, thank you guys so much for this opportunity today. I'm gonna jump right in. I'm the financial advisor of the chapter and our company is Key Wealth Management. So this is uh, my hometown. Sun Valley, Idaho. I grew up in a very magical little place with 8,000 people. Um, it's a ski resort, so there's a lot of tourists that come into town, uh, but it was the most amazing place to grow up. It's given me my passion for being outdoors and hiking and camping and adventuring, um, because how could you not want to be out in that, right? <laughs> Um, lived there my whole life, born and raised in a tiny little town. When it was time to go to college, I decided I wanted to be anywhere with sunshine. We had very long winters there. It was cold and I didn't know what I wanted to study. I just wanted to be in the sun. So I threw a dart at California and Arizona and I ended up in Tucson at University of Arizona. Go Wildcats. <laughs> I know. I actually studied Spanish. Um, I just wanted more access to more of the world. So I studied Spanish, I studied abroad in Spain and lived with a family. It was monumental to me becoming an independent person. Um, after college, I moved up to Phoenix right away and basically jumped right into my career in finance. Um, as David mentioned, I was an auditor for two years and then I moved over to Edward Jones where I got my licensing to become a financial advisor. Um, and then one of the jobs that I held prior to actually becoming an advisor was a consultant for other advisors. So I really got to see how a lot of people run their different offices, their take on financial planning and things like that, which gave me a very well-rounded experience. And through that job, I um, met Caitlin, who's the founder of Key Wealth Management, and she asked me to come and join her team. So that's how I got to where I am today. And uh, I've been with her for the last two years. So that's pretty great. Um, a little more on the personal side, so this is my fiance, Matt. He's a sun devil, so give me a little bit of a break. I'm marrying into the other side. <laughs> um, we've been together for six years, and we're getting married in May up in Sedona. We're super excited, four months to go. Um, Matt is in software sales, he's an account executive, and he gets to work from home in his pajamas, which I'm jealous of all the time. He's also a diehard Lakers fan, so this time of year we're very busy because he will not miss a single Laker game, which if you like basketball, you know that's quite the commitment. <laughs> um, here's just some more pictures of me adventuring. So this year we took a really awesome 10-day road trip all the way up to Yellowstone and back, 2,000 miles. Got to knock Antelope Canyon off my bucket list. If any of you have not been there, take the short drive to Northern Arizona, it's amazing. There's my parents, um, they still live in Idaho, so they made the drive over to Yellowstone and we all experienced Old Faithful together for the first time. They had never been there either, so that was a really special experience too. And these are our fur babies. <laughs> we don't have children. Um, we have two cats and a dog. So admittedly, before I met Matt, I was a crazy cat lady. I had my two cats and I was perfectly fine with that. And then Bean, who's our dog, came along with Matt. And he's my pal, I love him. I never thought I could love a dog as much as I do. So <laughs> that really changed my perspective on animals. All right, so now I'm gonna jump into the business. So Key Wealth Management is an independent financial firm and we broker through a company called Raymond James. Raymond James is a Fortune 500 company. They've been around for over 50 years. Uh, so basically they hold all of our clients' assets and money and they do our oversight to make sure that we are staying compliant in the industry. Um, so our office is three of us, but we have this very large backing of a huge corporation behind us. Key Wealth Management, as I mentioned, we're a team of three. I'm one of the two advisors in the office. Caitlin is the founder and the other advisor. And um, something that's unique about our company is we actually advise as a team. So when our clients come in, we both sit in on the meetings and we do a collaboration. So they're getting two brains. Hannah is our newest member. Um, she is our client concierge. So she handles more of the administrative pieces and making sure our clients feel welcome and comfortable when they come into our office. Why do I do what I do? So this is the big question with BNI, right? And I, I love to talk about this. So there's a few things that stand out to me. The first one is education. So when I was growing up, I always thought I'd be a teacher. It's why I studied Spanish. I thought I was going to be a Spanish teacher, which obviously didn't happen. <laughs> um, but through my job, I get to educate people and I love to coach and mentor. Um, like I said in my commercial today, getting people through these emotional times with the market. I'm very passionate about kind of taking these complex and scary topics and bringing them down for people to understand and have more peace of mind and confidence. Another piece is I, we get to be more than just an advisor. And uh, 
in our office, when someone becomes a client, we give them a big hug and we say, welcome to the family. And we truly mean that. So we get on such a deep level with our clients and the people that we work with that they are a piece of our family and I get to be a friend to them and help them celebrate things in their life that matter. And it's just, I take a lot of pride in, um, you know, just being like a piece of that accomplishment and celebrating it and then pushing them on to the next thing. Uh, so I passed around a handout of our five-step process, which goes into a little more detail, but we preface ourselves as a personal CFO for our clients. So we look at every nitty-gritty little detail, even taxes, estate planning. We know we're not the experts for those people, for those um, topics, so then we'll punt to people like Eddie or Matt or an estate planner to help with those pieces, but we still look at the whole big picture because the more transparency you have, the better plan you can build for the clients. So when someone comes to our office, the first thing we're gonna do is ask them where they're at today. What do you owe on home cars, credit cards? What are your investments? What are you saving? The second step is where do you want to be? So what does the next year look like? What do you wanna get off your bucket list? What does retirement look like in you know, the next 10, 20, 30 years? So really planning for now and the future. The third step is can we get you there? So sometimes this can be a reality check, right? Are you living in la la land? Is this actually doable? The fourth step is how do we get you there? So this is when we really sit down and collaborate and develop the plan all together and make sure the clients are comfortable, it's doable for them, and then holding them accountable for that. Lastly is reviewing our progress. So as you know, life changes, things get thrown at us in a minute's notice. It could be a baby, it could be a marriage, it could also be your air conditioner breaking and you need you know, thousands of dollars for that. So just reevaluating the plan, when things get off track, it's okay. We just review and we change course and we continue to go. I'm not going to go through this, but this is our services offered. So as you can see, it's a lot more than just um, reviewing portfolios and investments. There's tons of things that we can help people with. So if you want to learn more about this, please set up a one-to-one -one with me so I can go through the details on that. Ideal referrals. So a good way to look at this for us is who, what, and why. So who do we work well with? We have a lot of clients that are business owners, and the reason is we can provide value from a business and a personal standpoint, which is great. We also work with a lot of couples and families, um, young professionals who are really motivated to save. We like to help coach them early on because it can only help for their futures. The what is, what is someone going through that they might need our help? So this is uh, where life events come into play. Is someone getting married? Is someone thinking about leaving a job? This is one, the good time to talk to your advisor before you actually do that. Make sure you're not leaving money on the table. And then lastly, why would they want to work with us? So as I mentioned, we love to educate. So but through education, we build that trust and confidence. So we look for people who are willing to be coached. And then most importantly, that they like to have fun because we're a bunch of giggly women and we love to have a good time in our office. Money does not need to be this drab, scary topic. We can have fun with it and get you through life and enjoying that and take that stress out of it. And then, since it's January, I'm just going to leave you with five New Year's resolutions for your financial plan. The first one is knowing your net worth. So how do you set goals if you don't know where you're at today, right? <laughs> so the first thing is adding up all of your debts and liabilities, adding up all of your assets to see where your number is for your net worth, and then going forward from there. The second one is reviewing your budget and spending habits. So the beginning of the year is the perfect time to do this. You can pull your statements and look back on 12 months of spending. And, uh, and from there you can um, determine, you know, where did you get off track? Were you spending too much at Starbucks and <laughs> toning that down? What things are changing in your life that might have new expenses coming up where you need to adjust other areas? Third is reviewing the titling of your accounts. So this goes for bank and investments. Um, legally, your account titles are so, so important. So if you've gone to an estate planner and had your trust done, but then you're not reflecting that in your accounts, you're gonna have some really bad issues if something happens to you when they go to disperse your accounts. Um, revisiting your portfolio asset allocation. So like I mentioned right now with the market being bonkers, your account could be really thrown off. Uh, based on what the market's doing. So just keeping tabs on your portfolio. If you're growth focused, make sure it's still growth focused. If you're balanced, then make sure it's that way. And the best way to do that is by touching base with your financial advisor. So yes, they're gonna review your accounts, but they also wanna know what you're up to. So we just love to hear from our clients when anything exciting is happening for them. A lot of times it's tied to a dollar sign, so you might get a good nugget of advice that you wouldn't otherwise have had um, if you hadn't checked in. Thank you so much for listening.